Hello again everybody and a very warm welcome back to the channel today. We are in the heart of Manhattan at the heliport and we're going to be checking out two different helicopters from the same developer, uh, a developer named Fly Inside. First ticking off and having a little look at their B206 for Microsoft Flight Simulator as we see it at the moment and uh, we'll be having a look at their second helicopter which is available, both of which are payware for the sim and I'll be sharing my thoughts with you all throughout the video. Hit like and subscribe and of course share your thoughts as well in the comments down below too. They've used the experience of a real 206 pilot and owner to help generate and create the helicopter but their previous experience comes from FSX and there are elements of that which kind of transfer across through to this product in the sim today. A lot of the hatches as you can see are openable and closable so you can see the turbines, uh, motors and everything else inside the helicopter. There are a couple of issues that I've had already. So installation is a little bit clunky and a little bit archaic as well. The 206 is on sale at the moment for $37.95. And I'm basically going to try and work out if I think it's worth that price. There's a bonus livery pack which we've got installed. Some of them like the one we're using today. We're a little bit wild and a bit weird but uh, there are a variety of liveries available when you do purchase uh, this which is nice to see they haven't just dumped a default generic one or two in they, there's about 13 or 14 plus with the bonus pack interior wise all actually quite nice huge uh, windows for good visibility uh, around the helicopter and the doors of course are animated as well so you can open and close them you can head out and close the inspection panels to the helicopter's motor systems and the baggage door. But quite a nice interior, certainly in 4K as well, 60 frames per second. It's uh, very, very nice, quite smooth so far with everything off, of course, but we are in Manhattan as well. Custom sounds, circuit breakers are pullable as well, uh, failures are simulated. Quite loud from the inside, AC as well. Sound wise I'm not sure if uh, elements of that sounded a bit tinny or not, um, you know, similar to that of an add-on in FSX or not. We pop the landing lights on, pop the strobe lights on, have a look at the emissives, the lights. I'm going to tune the Kennedy VOR, see if it activates, it does. door close like so so not great at flying helicopters myself you guys know that whenever you've watched any uh, content with the high performance group h145 and all that sort of thing but we'll give it a go so feeding in the power a little bit trying to keep it steady I've turned some of the stability functions on a little bit just to help me with uh, learning the helicopter because I know I'm not the best at these little bit clunky to try and hold a picture and attitude. Windows uh, open and closed with nice sound ch changes there. I'm just looking at the turbine uh, output and everything there as well. 
I've just let go for a moment because I want to see how it stabilises. It's swaying all over the place at the moment. Okay, cool. Probably me. We'll go for a little uh, zip up the Hudson. Nice changes of sound. 4K PBR materials and textures within the helicopter, which is quite nice. Uh, turbine, rotor drive and control systems are fully animated. And you can also fly real helicopter maneuvers within the sim like auto rotations, quick stops, confined area ops as well uh, as you can do so in the real aircraft which is really good to see it's nice to see now the development of more helicopters for Microsoft Flight Simulator something that we've uh, not really been able to enjoy for particularly uh, long but flying sides two helicopters we'll be looking at today including this one have been out for a couple of months now already this one was most recently updated on the 4th of April 2023 at time of recording it's a little difficult to get the hang of uh, controlling but otherwise quite nice so one thing with this helicopter is uh, it's really difficult to get it to just settle down I've spent about 30 minutes flying around Manhattan and uh, I've pretty much um, been fighting with it uh, for about 5 minutes of that time at least um, just to try and get it to hover, which I, I've not really been able to, to do. I'm going to give it a go now landing back at the heliport to see how we get on. I found even small inputs sometimes, at certain power settings, gives you that really clunky uh, wobble there that really throws you off. That's probably as good as you're going to get from myself. It's uh, quite tricky to fly actually, certainly without any auto flight systems within it. In comparison to the H145, that's a much more refined, polished product in comparison to this uh, helicopter. I do think, roughly for a very similar price, you get a lot more for your money with the H145. Their second helicopter package for MSFS then is the Bell 47. It's both available for MSFS and also X-Plane via a plug-in, interestingly, but it originally it was designed for their own flying side flight simulator. They've then ported it across to MSFS. This has got two variants, the one with the floats that we're having a little look at today um, around Manhattan still, and there's one with uh, skids. But interestingly, the location that we've begun for the previous helicopter, having a helipad uh, for departure, the skid variant and this one would not allow us to fly from there so I've had to spawn in the water and the engines are on by default on the inside then incredibly basic just a few dials nothing particularly special fuel primer there your battery and alternator switches you've got a transponder and a radio stack uh, and your car peat as well that is it at the very bottom you've got your lights And this uh, handbrake here is your collective. And you've got a uh, nice compass on the left. So let's see how she flies. Lots of spray, which is good to see. This one feels a little bit more stable than their other helicopter, actually, so far. I know I've only just taken off. It goes without saying though, it's probably worth mentioning that inside their um, rather old school looking add-on manager, uh, the flying side manager that they have, you can choose different modes of flight. So you can have a realistic flight model uh, or you can select medium or easy based on your experience levels. The previous uh, helicopters we were trying to fly in realistic mode, this one's in medium mode. Certainly an incredibly weird helicopter. 
but nothing really much to discuss uh, with it to be fair. It's very basic, very clunky, almost looks like an experimental helicopter uh, at the best of times. Lots of visibility all around though, boarded because of the big open canopy and the big glass uh, windscreens. It's just another option for you to be able to enjoy low and slow, but this again uh, is $34.95 uh, US dollar. I think for both of the helicopters that they have on offer, it's a very high price to pay when you've uh, got comparisons like the high performance groups 145 already in the sim at a roughly similar cost with a lot more detail um, within it. These are very basic, um, very kind of average looking, average sounding as well in some areas. Having said that though, if you like helicopters and you're looking for a little bit more variety, something a little bit different perhaps, then uh, this might be something that you're interested in, or you indeed the B206 uh, B helicopter as well. Again, like the other one though, it doesn't really want to settle. I've let go of the controls here, just wants to list about and roll about. So there you have it, two helicopters available from a developer called Fly Inside. They've been out for over about a year now. Um, but something I didn't even know about until one of the folks at Blindside reached out and asked me to have a little look for the purpose of this honest review. Is it something that I would fly regularly? Probably not, to be honest. Um, the installation's a bit clunky. The heli manager that they have is a little bit clunky and old school looking as well. That could do with a good modern refresh. And I'd, I'd like to see maybe the price changed potentially as well. I think for the price, if you're looking at buying both, for example, at $70 for two products which don't really meet the standard of high performance groups offering in the sim either. Let me know what you think though in the comments below. Share your thoughts. If you've got the helicopters as well, let us know what you think if you've already been flying them for a little while. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe before you head off. In the meantime, as always, thank you very much for flying along. Hope you've enjoyed the video. The links will be in the description down below if you want to have a little look for yourself. And join us for a live stream in the very near future. Take care. Thanks for watching.